Good day, Redbacks. It's Oxide Viva Revolved. I'm Jay Plays Games. I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint with the pixel painter today. It's a brand new feature coming to Xbox and PS4. After much a long time, it's finally coming. Painting is such a wondrous, beautiful creation. It just takes away and leaves all the stresses behind. So I'm going to show you how you can actually paint your own masterpieces. Are you ready to join me on this adventure through paint? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Guys, I was going to keep up that accent for the whole video, but it's just too creepy and too cringy. I apologise. I thought it'd be funny. I was channeling in something. I don't know who I was channeling. Um, pixel painting. Here we go. Tutorial. Do it. Rat bag style. You're going to need these um, canvases. And canvases don't cost a lot to make. You can see that it's only a few ingredients like fibre, um, thatch, etc. Not a lot of stuff you need at all. Now the paints. The paints, I've used the cheat commands, give colours and then type in the amount you want. Obviously if you're grinding and you're doing it on an official server and you need to make up these paints, go and check out my tutorial. I'll show you how to make all the paints. But obviously I've just typed the command in. Pixel painting is coming to console. If you've not seen my video about it, I announced earlier on today that Jeremy, the creator, tweeted a picture out and it's showing the brand new pixel painting on the actual Xbox. Now, I'm using the Xbox controller partly through this. I tried giving it a go. This is actually PC, um, but they've supported Xbox control now, like the control pads. You know what? It just didn't work. It still doesn't work um, with pixel painting. I'm sure it works with everything else, but it just wouldn't do much more. So we're going to just use the keyboard. Um, pretty much it's fairly simple, a really simple process. You can see that I'm just mucking about with the color regions, just taking a quick look at them. What you do is you can paint on almost anything, literally flags, these, the war maps are really cool, I really hope they bring the war maps in, um, all sorts of things you can paint on, as long as you can paint a brush in it you can paint some sort of silly picture or some sort of pixel art and it's really exciting, having this small little thing added to it just makes the game a little bit more interesting. So first thing you'll notice is that the right stick moves the painting around so you can get a good look. Now it's very fiddly, if you move it around too quickly you could literally, it just, yeah, you take you forever to get exactly how you want it. So just be a little bit careful, it tends to keep going as well, so look, I'm trying to stop it now, I can't stop it. There you go, no, no, that's a bit too much, no, it tends to be, oh, oh no, please, please go right, please go right, please go right. Next after that if you hold the RT or R2 button you can zoom right out. And if you hold the LT or L2 button, you can zoom right in. So once you've decided what you want to do, click on your color and you can paint the actual background. So that's color region number one. And if you don't want that to be the color, then obviously don't click on dye item at the bottom. If we do color region five, it will simply be the posts that hold the canvas in the background. So from the looks of the actual pictures that I've seen on Twitter from Jeremy the Creator, you will be able to just simply use the left stick to move around or the right stick and the buttons. Unfortunately, they still haven't implemented this onto PC. I can't actually use the control pad. I've mucked around a little bit here with all sorts of the numbers and it's just not actually doing anything. So let's go cracking. Left mouse button to paint. Shift and left mouse button to paint thick. So I want to do a thick one. So let's see how this goes, let's see what my skills are like. Now you can see, obviously I'm not zoomed in that much, I'm about a medium height, and you can see you can get some fairly decent sharp lines. So I could make you sit through half an hour of me painting, we're not going to do that, I'm going to speed it up guys, this is not my amazing skills, this is me speeding up about seven times faster. Um, you know what, I was just having a bit of fun, it is really cool, it's like literally painting on any computer, any laptop, anything you've ever used in school, it's literally just pixel painting. You could get a lot of detail out of it to be fair, if, as long as you've got time dedication. There isn't enough tools, there isn't enough you know, uh, brush shapeners, you can't make the brushes too big massive, it's literally got two settings, but depending on whether or not you zoom in or zoom out, you can make the brushes bigger. So if you zoom out the brushes will give a larger area, and if you zoom right in they're going to give a small area, just like pixel painting on Microsoft or whatever. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I just think it's a really cool idea just to add something to the game. And you can see here, if you don't guess already, I'm making my Ratbags character. Now, please, please, 
please please but blah, 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 please be nice in the comment section i'm not an artist i'm not even barely a youtuber so cut me some slack um this is why i get other people to do my logos because my drawing skills are not on point i quite like copying though i really like drawing other things so maybe i should have looked at another picture and done it but yeah we said some work here i was trying to get some decent colors or some textures into it and i was trying to make some sort of dodgy eyebrow but you can see i went over it because i didn't like it i did find another color um and you can look how much detail you can put in and I could have zoomed in even closer if I wanted to just to add even more detail to it the eyes went a little bit mucked up there I had to like rejig it and do it something again um, and you can see here you can delete the item so if you are B I mean hold the finger on the right button you can delete um, whatever it's like a basic just eraser and I reckon obviously that will be on the Xbox and the PS4 as well and now I'm just colouring in its ears maybe a little bit too bright pink but I couldn't really find anything paler and just doing the outlines again and some more whiskers I'm going to start colouring in a minute as well um, just to give it a bit more I was mucking around the background to see if that would be quicker but of course it makes the whole background and that changes some of the paint on it as well so you have got to be a bit careful now I'm just filling it all in went and zoomed right out so it meant I could paint a lot quicker paint the larger area and it was just really cool just doing it and then realized I could go over stuff later on to add a little bit more detail to it but we're climbing up to the end now we're getting it all finished and off dusted mucked around with the mouth a little bit tried shaping it a bit more so it didn't look so angry to see if I can make it a bit more fun but it was really cool it's just really nice just to muck around for like you know half an hour 45 minutes I spent on this and you can see I'm getting a bit more into it now I'm trying to check out every single little squares done before I finish it off there's the bit of better whiskers they're much better than they were and then I'm just going around the outsides adding a little bit more detail to the ones that I didn't actually finish off or do adding a little bit of an arm because his body looks funky as feck and maybe I should have added a tail I should have put a tail coming up above his head or something like that that would have been cool um, he's got some mad horrible teeth I'm going like for realistic rat bag the realistic rat bag um, decided that he needs a tongue that's what he's clearly missing matching his red fez hat and then we've got a couple of little teeth as well but look, it's just really cool. It's just really cool. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what other people can make. I'm sure we're going to see some fantastic stuff. I have seen a few little pictures and paintings on the Community Crunch from PC players. Um, but not that many. I've not even seen that many tutorials on how to do it and how it will work. So I'm hoping this will be new to you guys. Let me know what you're looking forward to doing with it. Are you going to be doing lots of paintings? Are you just going to be simply making it your tribal flag? Is it going to be used for PvP to warn people off? Are you like, yeah, just the, the, the possibilities for doing stuff with it, I think are pretty good. I think you could really take it far. Now I'm just trying to add some detail to the fur, but I didn't really like it, so I went over it again and done it in a smaller one and slightly different colour, just to try and liven it up a little bit and see if we can make it a little bit more realistic. Again, I'm no artist, but I, I figured this was a good way just to add a little bit of detail to it. Um, and from a distance, it doesn't look too sad here. I'm like looking at it now, thinking, you know what? That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Anyway, let's get out of speed zone. I'm going to take you back into the rest of the video and I'll see you later. Yeah, you know what, I don't think that's too bad. I've literally spent about five, ten minutes on it. No, I've lied, I've spent about half an hour. Okay, so what you can do is you can save the paint, obviously. So this is how you do it. Rat bag one. And then we should be able to close it. And there you go, that is my little painting. I'm too heavy, oh my god, I'm too heavy. And there you go, that is my little rat bag painting. It's not too sad, it's not too sad. Look how much detail you can put in something if you really wanted to try. It don't look too sad. From distance, I think that looks alright. Now be nice in the comments section guys, be nice. So, a few things you can do with it. Now, you're watching for this. I'm going to demolish it. Oh no, my little picture's gone. My little picture. But don't worry, don't worry, don't panic. So, what we're going to do now is... I'm going to paint it again. And we should be able to load up paint from this type. There you go, wrap bag one. And you can see you can load up your resources. So as long as you've got the resources for the painting you've already done, it will load it back up and you can actually have the painting again. So you don't have to worry, you will keep all your paintings. And look, it's taking its time, it's going through it all. It's quite a good animation, I wish I could have seen the animation. It's just like hitting it. 
Oh wow, it takes some time. And there we go. And then just simply save your paint again. Or close it. And there's your picture back once again. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. So look, I could have just rat bags everywhere. And there you go. Look, I've got me two rat bags. That is really cool. Now, you can paint other things as well. We haven't got the war maps in, so before everyone starts, like, relax, yeah? Like, I know we haven't got the war maps in, but I just wanted to see and test what happens if there was a way we could actually paint it. Now, this might be a feature that's been in for a while. And, yeah, you can look. You can paint, you can paint on top of the war map. So that would be really cool if you're doing detailed maps of where resources are in-game. You could literally, you know, put marks, X marks the spot. There you go. Obviously, I'm just pissing about. This is not like a serious one. But look, there's 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 an ob, there's an ob, and there's an obelisk there. And then you say that's my base over there. Meet me there, and then we could literally save the paint. Wall map one. Close it, and look at that. It's on the map. It's already marked out. That'd be excellent if you're doing role play or even PvP. Maybe you're planning an attack. You can literally paint a map and show people exactly where to go on the map. And you can paint colours and flags and things as well. You can pretty much paint quite a lot of things. So it's the same thing as before. Just simply hold it down. Save paint, call it rat bag logo. Set, close. Job is a good one. Look at that, people. So these are all the things you can do with paint. I can't wait for it to be implemented, the pixel painting. It is going to just add so much variety to builds and things like that. I can well imagine people showing me their bases and they've got paintings in it. Can't wait to see Caroline's art gallery once she gets going. Maybe she'll let me load up one of my pictures into it as like a charity thing. So there we go, people. Pixel painting coming to console very soon. As soon as I get the release date, I will let you guys know. Hopefully, it'll be in the next update. Probably not. I don't know. I mean, it'd be interesting to see if they've added it. Otherwise, if you're seeing this video afterwards and it's just taught you how to paint, make sure you hit that video up with a like, and I'll see you for more videos very soon. I'm Joe Place Games. Bye bye. Take care, my friends, and remember, painting is happy thoughts.